This is a Janetta G57. It's a cross between an LMP3 and, and two car, basically pretty much an LMP3, but with a Chev LS engine in it that makes 575 horsepower instead of the 420 that the LMP3 cars have. It's the same weight as an LMP3, 900 kilograms, 6P racing gearbox, steel brakes, downforce, it's a pretty serious car. It's another car where we want to use as a benchmark for our, our cars. It's important to be able to really evaluate other cars, see how it's made, see how it drives, um, see the strengths and weaknesses of it. So it gives us a good opportunity to look at all those areas, evaluate them and try to improve them. It gives us something to work on. It's an actual car, it runs, so you can drive it, you can evaluate the performance, you can see how it's built, how it's designed, how it's constructed and how it operates and all those things are very helpful. Uh, we've just made a lot of detail changes to it, taken the ferocity out of the dampers which seem to be vastly too stiff especially for our track. We've done a little bit of work on the aero side of it where we've given it a bit more rear wing, put a gurney flap on the second element, put a throttle damper on it which like a GP2 style because the way the car came it was almost undrivable. It's got a Chev e-throttle which I'm sure works well in the Camaro but it sure wasn't working well in this car. We've managed to completely solve that issue and now it's got a nice smooth throttle which is obviously essential uh, in driving the car. Well all the, all the changes, there's, there's only one arbiter for all changes and that's lap time so we've made the changes and each day and we've run the car and then seen where the, where the times were. Obviously we're up to 135 laps on the car so I've got a bit more experience with it I can push it a bit harder but each change has is, is made real substantial improvements. When we started on this car I had the feeling it would probably be about the same sort of pace as the GTR. If we can get a bit grippier tyres and get a few other things get a bit more grip in the front end especially maybe it can go even quicker than that. Still got a lot of potential. Oh, well, it's fun. You get to formulate an idea as to what you can do that might improve it, and then you get a chance to put it on the car and actually try it. And we run that entire process ourselves in-house. It's satisfying, it's interesting, and it's enjoyable. We've got, this is the uh, modified gurney, very temporary, but it's a little 90-degree piece of uh, aluminium strip, which effectively extends that element. And then we also have a new set of Avon tyres on it. The interior and the seat we've made that's moulded to David. Oh, a lot of anti-roll bar stuff, but we can't really see that. And you can see down there, there is the throttle assembly. Obviously can't see too much, but there's a throttle damper that's 3D printed down there to match the existing body. And I think that's about it.